This is what throttling up hills on your e-bike can do to the inside of your bike. One of the most common misconceptions when riding an e-bike for the first time is not knowing how to properly use your throttle. Hello, I'm Naomi from BC e-bike. We service and repair e-bikes on Vancouver Island and recently we have been getting more and more bike riders coming in for repairs with damaged controllers with the main cause being throttling up hills. Even though the expectation behind throttles are that they can carry you when you don't want to pedal, we recommend looking at scooters if you're interested in that outcome. Now you might be thinking right now, what is the throttle for then, Naomi? Well, I have found the throttle to be an amazing feature added to the e-bike as they allow for quick and easy starts. Often I find that when you kick to start your momentum on a bike, you're also trying to gain your balance. In this case, you can see that I get off to a much easier start when using the throttle because I have already gained my balance with the throttle. This is super handy for quick starts and fast acceleration when first starting your ride and finally giving you that extra boost on the flat grounds to keep your speed at a consistent, comfortable level. Often, I find that the wind can cause drag and the throttle can help push you back to that desired speed you were pedaling at. Overall, I have found the throttle to be an amazing feature on e-bikes. Coming from a rider that has gone from a regular biking to a class 1 e-bike with no throttle to an e-bike with a throttle, the class 2 e-bike makes for a very enjoyable ride which overall keeps you on time for commuting and safer for stoplights or crossroads. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. This is a message from BC e-bike, don't throttle up hills.